the best way to get the stability to the system where the companies uh, have a degree of confidence that things are not going to roller coaster on them is to just get more and more people vaccinated each year. If you look at the, the history of vaccinations for influenza over the last several years, with the increase and the expansion of the recommendations from the CDC, we've gone from 20, 30, 40, 50 million up to now over 100 million. You know, as a public health person, I would think that the goal that I would see to really stabilize the system and therefore make it less of a crisis issue when you get to have a pandemic uh, flu, which we know will, will again occur as was predicted, uh, even though they're rare events, they do occur, is to get as many people vaccinated as possible. And, and what we foresee in the future is that influenza vaccine will be something that is essentially a routine vaccination for everyone. And if we then transition that into the universal vaccine, then you may only have to do that every couple of years and get people protected not only from seasonal flu, but from pandemic flu. In my mind, that's the end game. And that's good for the companies, too, because they're going to know and predict that every year the vast majority of the American population is going to get vaccinated, not having to guess will they or will they not this year or next year. The thing we have going in our favor is that the track record of influenza vaccines is extraordinarily good regarding safety, and clearly they're effective. So we have two very big pluses in our favor for that.